Alright, what's up game? What's up? What's up game? What's up gamers? The first time I recorded this, the audio vanished. It was deleted. Where I recorded for about an hour and a half, um, reacting to all of your impossibly horrible opinions, your thoughts, your takes on Dune. You guys sent me some really weird stuff and I reacted to it uh, in the moment and now I'm going to have to re-react to it. Okay, it was a nightmare. The first time was a nightmare to record. Some of you have some good takes, but the whole point was just to aggravate me, I guess. Bear with me. Catherine said that bull on the wall is my favorite character. I really love the bull imagery. I already feel myself unraveling. White people being able to handle spice simply isn't believable. Fair. The scenes in the movie were better than their book counterparts. I, what? I'm convinced that George R. R. Martin read Dune and based Daenerys Targaryen's character off of Paul Atreides. Almost 100% certain that that there's influence there for sure in game of thrones and just probably in that character so this is my absolute favorite reply uh petrick leo go subscribe to his channel he has wonderful book reviews but he said a few people have told me the giant sandworm looks like an incredibly sharp and large asshole and i can't seem to delete this information from my brain no matter how hard i try help i know they're going for like the eye imagery but no it's a butt it's a butt Let's see, Chris is telling me the Baron was better in the OG movie as were the Roblox style shields. I, I like the Roblox shields, I like those. Something about the new shields just felt, uh, it lacked the spirit of coked up 80s, you know? The Baron is, it's hard for me because the Baron in the, in the 80s movie and the Baron now isn't what I picture the Baron in the book. You know, the Baron always was just this cunning, devious, mischievous fellow, a jolly old lad. <laughs> I don't know what I, why I said that. I think the first movie should have cut off after Paul and Lady Jessica escape into the desert and realize the severity of what has occurred, making the fall of House Atreides the climax of the film. Then made it a trilogy instead of two parts. I hate this. I don't don't make it a tri The trilogy needs to be Dune parts one and two and then Dune Messiah. I have a video about that. Go, go, I'm plugging my content. Yeah, I don't see how that would work. Like what would be the middle movie for a Dune just a plain Dune book adaptation trilogy. I think that would be, it'd be a little too much. It'd be too stretched out. I honestly think that the whole thing should have been put into like one really long three hour movie. They'd have to cut out more. They, then they do the extended version, which is like five hours. You know, put that on, put that on the Blu-ray. Uh, Rhythma says, Timothy Chalamet is really cute and handsome. The scene where Jessica and Paul were changing was weird as fuck. Why did they look? Okay, that, that's gonna be a running theme. You'll notice in these comments, a lot of people are mentioning this weird, I hate to say it, this weird sexual chemistry between Paul and Lady Jessica. It's his mom, but it's like, especially the scene where they're changing, it's like, they're like trying not to look and like, me and Nadia, when we watched this, we were like, what is going on here? It feels like there's some tension that's like uncomfortable. And I thought that was just us being weird, like picking up on something like, but no, apparently a lot of people are seeing that. And I'm like, what, were they going for some kind of like Oedipus thing? Like, ah, I don't even wanna, I don't wanna get into that. Very confusing movie, still don't understand where it fits into the Star Wars storyline. Getting kind of sick of the desert planets, TBH, but maybe still the best one since The Force Awakens. Ha. Duncan is a useless character who added nothing to the story. We all know what was gonna happen to him by the end of the movie, haven't read the book yet. For many reasons, Duncan is not a useless character, especially if you're looking to the rest of the series. No spoilers. Fremen are budget ideal. Yeah, that's gonna annoy a lot of Dune fans. I feel weird saying it. I thought Paul's dad was pretty hot in the movie, so it was terrible that I read the book and knew what happened to him. I never thought he was hot while reading the book. Why, I mean, why would you? They're not like, and Leto walked in the room and damn, that he had an ass. Well, I really liked Stellan Skarsgård, that Skars, Sarsgård, Skars, is it Sarsgård or Skarsgård? But that Baron was nothing like the Baron of the books. That, me that man was a force to be afraid of and this one was still holding on to that Lynch camp. I like the Lynch camp, but I will say the guy looks a little strange in all that heavy makeup. It just really looked like he needed to take a nap, like he had just r had really eaten way too much at Thanksgiving. So relatable, less scary. Nobody says out loud, but they have to poop in the still suits so the Fremen are always shitting their pants. I forget, is this addressed in the books? Because I, this didn't even, I just forgot about pooping. It's just all pee, pee, pee. Like I just, prioritizing pee. So what's going on there with the poop? That's something I want to know. The Butlerian Jihad was not poggers. 
I second that. Frank Dune is a nice man. These are the these are the type of comments that resonate the most with me. If you say stuff like this, I'll always I'll always read it. It felt like Jason Momoa was in a completely different movie than the rest of the actors. I get why you cast him, but his acting style didn't fit the rest of the cast at all. Other than that, I loved it. Can't wait for the next one. Fair. I mean, I'm not a huge uh, Momoa fan. He's not what I pictured in the books, which that's the first problem, you know? No one's ever going to live up to what you see in the books. I was expecting and really wanting a love scene between Jessica and Paul when they were chilling in the Santan after getting kicked out of the I need more Game of Thrones in my Dune. Stop. No, no. This, this Jessica Paul thing. It's not a thing. Just, it, no. I only went to see the original movie in 1984 because Sting was in a bikini. I don't remember much else about it. I don't really care about the new film. I respect that, and we should respect that. I don't think the Chani Vision scenes were overused. Each one was subtly different, and only one matched what really happened in the end. Great way of showing multiple possible futures and ties in with what Duncan said about dreams early on. That's a totally... You know, that's fair. They did show potential futures. That's what I liked about those flash forwards. There were just too many moments of her walking around in the desert. And I think if it was a different actor, if it wasn't just Zendaya, famous celebrity, they could make it work. But because it, she's like a huge celebrity, it comes across like a perfu perfume ad. Duncan Idaho is an unironically great name. I hear ya. I love Duncan Idaho. Earth is this forgotten planet. Idaho was this place on Earth. Somehow, through the years, it's become a... Uh, a prominent last name. The lack of seeing a Space and Guild navigator in the new film was extremely disappointing. We're just kind of told that Spice is important, but we don't really get to see exactly why and how powerful it can be. To be fair, I think that was a good choice because all we really need to know is that Spice is important. The universe needs spice. The focus is on Paul, and that's what the filmmakers have said. However, selfishly, I really wanted to see the, uh, a guild navigator. I was so excited. When they were going to Arrakis, I was really looking forward to, oh, what are they going to show? And we see them in space briefly for like a couple shots. That scene in the Lynch version version is just so infamous, I feel. Josh Brolin was terrible and the film doesn't really give us a good reason uh, Gurney and Duncan couldn't have been combined. Josh Brolin was fine. He had such a small part anyways. And like, why do they need to combine them? I mean, I mean, why? 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 I don't get it. That bad take. Bad take. A lot of you are coming up with some popular takes, but I'm looking for the really gross, the crusty, filthy takes, you know? Let's go to YouTube, which I, I have some hope. 486 replies. Let's just dive in. Most like comment. I don't like sand. It's rough and coarse and it gets everywhere. Overdone meme. We've seen it before. Get out of my face. I'm not hugely fond of Frank Herbert's writing style in general, but I love this thing he does where he drops the word and all the time. Paul entered the room, looked around, left again. It's weird and different, and I love it. The rest of the pros, not so much. I, I like the pros. I have a video about it plugging my content. The stylistic thing, but it, it really shows what Herbert does with his writing, which is just really clean it up, make it as simple as possible. This one surprised me. Dune was published 11 years after Fellowship of the Ring. I always think Lord of the Rings came way before anything, you know, but Dune is right right up there. It shows how insanely influential it is. Denis Villeneuve did this version as his second choice since apparently Matt LeBlanc wasn't available to play all the roles in How You Dune. How You Dune. I would walk barefoot across the Great Flat just for the mere possibility of trying a drop of Lady Jessica's still suit water. Gross. By essentially eliminating technology, Dune becomes a medieval setting. This is why it has aged a great deal better than Foundation, which is incredibly clunky with its out-of-date tech explanations. I don't know why it's aged better. I mean, that's a debatable thing. We have things that are so new that they look like magic. And we have things that are so old that they feel like... Um, we're stuck in medieval times. For Fade Rautha, they should get Sting and make him old with CGI for the second movie. No, 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 stop it. Wait, hear me out. I don't think anyone has really addressed this before, but I think maybe the whole Dune series is a metaphor for oil in the Middle East. I don't know. Dune is really more relevant than ever and just keeps getting relevant. I wish they had included the dinner scene in the movie. The cloak and dagger of it all did a lot to aid in the world building. I really love that aspect of, of the book and I wish they had had that in there. But then again, you have to ask, well, what would they take out to replace it? I'm just wondering why no one was ever sweaty in the movie. I, it's a dry heat, guys. I mean, it's a dry heat. Frank Herbert was a true visionary. He wrote Dune as a clear allegory of the MCT verse, decades before it was conceived. Paul is a vivid representation of Joshua, i.e. the chosen one, while the Reverend Mother was a clear embodiment of Deborah. Duncan, Rick, Idaho, was always going to be sheltered by the Missionaria Protectiva, given how cool he is. However, man-carrying thing Harkonnen was 
born of incest and was condemned to eternal damnation. I appreciate, uh, Larry, the world building, but you had to make me the Baron, and I... That hurt my feelings. Not book related, but if the movies need an old Paul, Kyle MacLachlan is the one who should be cast. That would be really jarring, I think. It'd be too meta. Fremen demurred way too easily to Paul. I love the book, but Herbert failed with Stilgar's character when he wrote Paul's ascension in the minds and attitudes of the Fremen. That Stilgar was so quickly ditched by the Fremen alludes to him being a lightweight, and I don't think we are meant to consider him a lightweight. His whole past up to that point is diminished. The Fremen are going to honor the system more than one person. Uh, that's kind of what changes with when Paul enters the scene. My suspension of disbelief was broken when I realized that in the Dune universe, humanity gave up free internet porn in an effort to stop using computers. It would never happen even by the year 10,000. We'd still keep them around, even if they were trying to actively kill us, just to, just to keep that internet porn. I think the dragonfly-shaped helicopter planes are my new favorite thing. I lose my shit every time I see their little wings start to flap. Reading the book, I always thought, how would they even show this? It was hard to picture it. Well, and I love when they show it just like slowly revving up. Go, Gorb said, I haven't actually seen or read Dune, but I want to participate anyways, so I'm going to say that Dune would be better if there were more cats in it. Hint, hint. I love you, Gorb. Wait, there's a goblin here. Enud is a better name than Dune. Uh, I really, really hate that word. Enud, Enud. Seth Rogen would have made an excellent Baron Harkon, and actually, he would. He would. Laughing, ha ha ha. I can't do the laugh, but you know, that's kind of how I picture the, the Baron, just full of this creepy joy. I wish I was a sandworm. I wish to wiggle in the sand. Excellent. Thank you. I find it really ironic that Dune, a book about declining empire, is hitting so big right now in America, an empire in decline. Popularity of Dune now instead of in the 80s, maybe it doesn't have anything to do with the quality of the 80s movie. Maybe it just has to do with the times we live in. I saw a tweet, not my friend saying there's sexual tension between Paul and his mom. Again! <laughs> What is this? Everyone keeps mentioning it. The true protagonist isn't Paul, it's the planet of Arrakis. I kind of wish the focus was less on Paul than on the other characters. While Paul is the main character, he doesn't have a ton of agency, especially in the first half of the book. Things just kind of happen to him, so he's not super interesting. I wish it was treated more as an ensemble, and then Paul could gain more prominence in the second movie. I haven't read the book or seen the movie, and I'm not planning on doing so in the near future. I'm planning on reading Terry Goodkind before Dune. This is the type of thing that'll get someone's blood to boil. I broke my leg today. I... <laughs> I wish you a speedy recovery. The whole movie plot is a meta commentary on Chalamet's career, or to be exact, how he's ripping off Johnny Depp. How is he ripping off Johnny Depp? I'm genuinely... Like, can someone tell me how? Because he's, like, doing Wonka, right? But what else? I think Dune should be made into a Broadway musical. It would be the best, yes. Broadway musical Dune, let's try it out, guys. I'd let the Baron sit on my face. Go for it. The part where Paul and Jessica change into still suits is edited in a way that implies they had sex. They didn't go that far. Like, what are you watching? It was just a weird moment. I have neither read nor watched Dune, but let me tell you this much. The sandworm just doesn't look like any human orifice to me. The memes are funny, but they ultimately lack the true comedic accuracy. You know? Have you seen a human orifice? Bad guy was just doing a Brando impression. Oh, like Marlon Brando. <laughs> I thought you meant like Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> my, my first thought was Brand Brandon Sanderson. I just pictured Brandon Sanderson playing, playing the Baron, and I, I really like that idea. We will have ornithopters in real life in two to four decades. Okay, Elon Musk. B Baron Harkonnen is not evil. He's just on that grind set. Just that Sigma male grind set. <laughs> Crazy how it's actually a ripoff of Norm of the North. I noticed that too. It was really upsetting that they stole so much from Norm of the North. Of all the things to stand the test of time, bagpipes? When they started playing bad bagpipes, that really pulled me out of the movie. Characters in the book are not very well written and that made me not connect with the story. I keep getting comments like this that are just like, well, I didn't like the, this in the book, I didn't get into the book, or I didn't like this part of the movie. And it's like, yeah, they're just opinions. Like, I don't expect everyone to like the book or the movie, but can't really speak on that. Big worm is too scary. Should have been a big bee or something. I Barry B. Benson rising out of the sand dunes. Bad film, but the Baron was really cute and sexy. I'm really sorry that I just can't get to so many comments. I promise you I read all of your comments, now I've read them twice. Has this been useful? I don't know. I, uh, I have suffered. <laughs> Maybe I'll just end the video like that.